Hi everyone, I'm John from Allied Communications and today I'm here to show you how to create an auto attendant in our Allied hosted PBX solution. Right now we're in our Allied Communications portal and if you haven't seen this portal yet, please visit our page at Allied Communications LLC and view our portal overview video. It gives us a quick overview on every tab and what to expect in the portal and how to access the portal. From here, choose the services tab and the auto attendant section on the left hand side and then new auto attendant. It's a pretty straightforward um, design. Everything's pretty much user friendly in this portal. And as you can see from this, there's not much to do here. So we're gonna name here night attendant or night AA. Auto attendant timeout is set for five seconds by default and digit timeout set by two seconds by default. The announcement section shows you how to record the automated attendant. Main two ways to record would be via the phone and uploading a file and in blue you'll see on how to record from the phone and if you select upload by upload a file you'll see the parameters needed to upload a file it could be an mp3 or a wave format and it could be up to 10 meg you would select file from your computer or another source and that would be announced below that is the section of button configuration um, we have options 0 through 9 star pound and timeout. From here it's, it's very simple. The Route 2 section has a bunch of drop down menus and here are all your options. You can route to extensions, mailboxes, auto attendance, time frames, groups. This is every this is every destination you can assign. Um, I'll show you what it looks like. So we can let's assign for to an outside number. Not that you would use zero for an outside number, but I'm just gonna give you a quick demonstration on a couple of the options that are, are used. From here, set your outside number destination. You don't need a nine or anything like that. Just dial a 10-digit number. And when someone presses zero, this is the number that will be dialed. Option one, we'll go to an extension. There you go. Option one, you press one, it's gonna route to John Smith's extension. If John Smith doesn't answer, his voicemail will pick up. Option two, let's go to a group, services. Press option two, it's gonna route to the service group. Um, the service group is defined on the left-hand side, but I will cover that in another video. Option three, we can route to another auto attendant built. And as you can see in this dropdown, you're not gonna see night AA because we haven't finished building it yet. But the other auto attendant that is available is the main auto attendant. Um, and you'll see all the auto attendants here once they're built. Option four can be company directory. Dial by name directory. Um, you can define first name or last name in the settings section. I uh, will go over that in another video. Option five, we can go to a time frame. Business hours, business, and from here your time frames will route those calls depending on the time of day. Let's go pound will be check voicemail. So if callers want to call into this, if your users want to call into the automated attendant and check their voicemails, they can by pressing pound. Voicemail the email is available of course, but some people still like to call in and, and check the emails the old school way. And the option still there. Um, the timeout option is timeout option has to match the five second timeout on the general settings. And once that once no digit is pressed within five seconds after the greeting is is announced, um, the timeout destination is 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 chosen. Um, if nothing is chosen here, the caller will be disconnected. So just make sure you put something here. A mailbox. If no one presses anything, just send it right to the general mailbox and call it a day um, that's about it from here you always want to save it's on the top or the bottom of the page it'll immediately bring bring you back to the auto attendant section and you'll see the two auto attendants that you have created in your system and your changes will take effect within minutes it usually takes about a minute uh, for all those changes to be propagated from here you can route your phone numbers or time conditions to these auto attendants um, but again we'll go over that in another video this is just to cover the auto attendant creation um, all right that's everything you need to know on the auto attendant setup as you can see you have both auto attendants built right here that are in the system available to you if you have any questions or comments please feel free to share below um, and please like and follow my page for more videos thanks for watching